All right, so today we're going to be talking about inscribing shapes into circles. So this is the last um, section basically we're going to do. And we are also going to throw in the equilateral triangle at the end as well. So inscribing shapes. This is uh, inscribing shapes in a circle. To start off, it wants me to draw a point D. Now there's two different shapes that I want to inscribe into uh, the circles. Um, so I'm actually going to draw two circles here. So I'm going to try to make them not too big. So point D. Um, just draw a point somewhere. Okay. And then you want me to draw a circle with that as a center. So to draw a circle, I place the bullseye on that intersection. And you know what? I'm going to... Remove these from the state. Okay. So I'm not fighting the staple on this one. I might still catch them. But oh. All right. So I'm going to draw a circle just around the point that I just made. And it did catch up there, but good enough. Okay, so it doesn't matter how big the circle is, but again, since I want to do two here, I, uh, I just made it just kind of a short little setting right there. Okay, and then it wants me to place a point on the circle and label it point A. So it doesn't matter where you place it, I'm going to point, place it right here. We'll call this A, this was D, just to make the notes make sense. And then it wants me to place the bullseye on point A and make an arc that intersects the circle. Move the intersection. So one thing that it didn't say, or I guess it did say right here. Sorry, I skipped it. Don't move the slide. So after you made the circle, you shouldn't have moved that setting because you're going to need that for this next part. Okay? So after I have point A, using that setting that I made to draw the circle, I'm just going to make an arc. And just like I did there. So that was placing the bullseye on point A and making an arc. Then after you've made that first arc, it wants you to move the bullseye to that intersection right there. And then make another arc. And you're going to do this. You're going to repeat this step until you get all the way back to point A. Okay, so you're just going to keep placing it on each intersection that's formed. So you get back to your starting point. And if you do it right, that last arc, um, your slide window should fit right over that uh, point A. Okay. And I'll just draw an arc there to show you. See? So you have, now you have six different arcs basically intersecting with your um, circle. So there's two different shapes that we can do here. Let's do the hexagon first. So hexagon, basically to make a hexagon inscribed in here, all we're going to do is connect every intersection in consecutive order. So basically we're just going to line up each consecutive intersection. So like this with the flat edge of our compass. And we're just going to draw a line that connects the two. Okay? And we're just going to do that for each intersection. Okay, and now I have a hexagon drawn inside the circle. So that's what it means to be inscribed. It's drawn inside 
of something else. Okay, so that's the hexagon. The other one is a triangle. So to do that, I need a circle, and I need to do this all over again. So it's the same first four steps, just the last step is different. So I drew another point. I'm actually going to use the same setting I used on the first circle. And I'm going to... Ugh. Okay. Staple part kind of messed up that circle a little bit. But it should still work. Okay. And then just draw a point that's not on it. So there's point A. And this was point D. And then I'm going to use that same setting here to draw an arc. Um, six different arcs. Ooh, that's a big one. a bigger mistake on the circle than it lit up. So this is going to be a little bit off, but you guys get the idea. Okay, the staple kind of threw off my circle and it's not going to be as accurate as it could be, but um, you should have, it should look like this original one where you had the six different arcs. And then to do the triangle, all you're going to do is you're going to connect every other intersection. So instead of connecting every intersection like we did, we're going to skip an intersection and we're going to connect those two intersections. So we're going to draw a line between those two and then skipping one. We're going to connect those two and then we're going to connect those. And again, if you do it right, you should end up with a triangle in your circle. Okay, so there's those two. The other shape that we can inscribe in a circle is the square. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle just like we did before. Um, I don't need two examples on this section so I can make the circle a little bit bigger. Okay. So let's try this. Oh, man. Okay. That's a pretty good circle. Okay. So, I drew a circle around the point that I did, and I'll label it point D. That's what the notes say. And then it wants me to draw a diameter. So remember, a diameter is a line that goes from side to side, but also passes through the center point. Okay, so I just line up the compass, the flagged compass here, that goes through the center point there, and I'm just going to draw a line that goes through that center point. We get kind of a pokeball here, right? So, <laughs> once you've got your pokeball, um, the next step is to bisect that diameter. So basically, you're going to bisect between, you know, each end. So like when it intersects with a circle, those would be your end points, and you're bisecting between those two points. And again, it should be pretty easy to see where the halfway mark is because the center of the circle should be exactly halfway between those two. So the um, you just have to move the slide more than halfway past the towards the other end point, draw a big arc, and then same thing on the other end point with the same setting, draw another big arc. And you get that football looking shape and to bisect you just draw a line that connects the two intersections. Okay. And it should be passing through the center point of your circle as well. Then to draw the square you just connect the four points on the edge of your circle. So right here, right here, right here, and right here. So where your lines are crossing the uh, edge of your circle, you're connecting those four points. So again, matches up with the flat edge of your compass, and you just draw a line.
Oops. Okay. And looks like a diamond, right? But turn it on its quarter on its side a little bit. You guys can see the square that was formed right there, inscribed in the circle. Okay, and then the last one we're going to talk about is just drawing an equilateral triangle. And this is one of the easier constructions you guys will do. Um, first thing it says is to just draw a line segment. So I'm going to draw a line segment. And line segments have endpoints, right? So you draw an endpoint on each side. And then it says to place the bullseye on one of the endpoints. Move the slide to the other endpoint. And then it says to make a big arc. Okay? So lock in that setting. You make a big arc that's just going up. Okay? So something like that. Then move the bullseye to the other end point and make the same arc. So when you do that, it should be the same setting. Slide window should be over the other end point. Oops. And you just make another big arc that hopefully your staple doesn't get mad at. Okay. And then you'll see there's an intersection created right here. To make the equilateral triangle, you just connect the endpoints to that intersection. So you just draw a straight line between that endpoint and that intersection. So there's one side of the triangle, and there's the other. Okay? And there's your equilateral triangle.